Hey guys, what's up and welcome to Divas Getting Raw, Raw episode number, number 56. 56. Before we get in today's agenda, let's yes. talk about some shout outs we want to give out to ringfever.com. Hell yeah, thank you very much for making the website. They oh, it was awesome beautiful. Website. Yeah, you'll link us. us you'll link them. It, I'll put it down in the description below, guys. Check it out. Our pictures are on there. Our videos are on there. We look forward to working with ringfever.com more in the future. Yes, yes. And I also want to give a shout out to Corey. Love you, man. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, Big Ange. Big, Big Ange. Big Ange. So, Big Ange so yeah, that was great. Wives. And also, the person that made it happen for us to meet Big Ange, Roy. Roy. Thank you so much, Roy. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, guys. Let's start off with Raw opening up with HBK, the Heartbreak Oh, kid. yeah. And HBK, you know, he wants to get to the bottom of this. He, he comes out. Triple H, what made you change your mind? What changed your wow. mind? Wow. And but it, HBK is really happy because he why he um, originally wanted Triple H to do it in the first place, but also why did tri uh, Triple H change his mind? Why, why did Triple H, H come out ago? here? Yeah, Triple H come out here. So Triple H came out and um, HBK asked him, "What made you change your mind? What happened?" Yes. And then um, Triple H is like, "Well, look, it had nothing to do with you. It had nothing." Uh, for it had nothing to do with Undertaker saying that I'm jealous of you or that you're better than me. I just want to do it because you know uh, I feel like that you know the job has to be done. Time has come. Time has come. And uh, HBK is like, oh, so you really don't have a problem with me? I thought because you did it, you had a problem with me. And Triple H is like, no, not the case. No, because I want to do it. And also, it's a job. Uh, it's a job to be done that I that you didn't get to do. So it's like I'm finishing it Ooh, yeah. for you. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I don't know. HBK didn't really look happy about that because I think he was. He I think he's somewhat jealous of Triple H because Triple H is getting another chance. Triple HBK, H is still in the business. And HBK retired. But on the plus side, HBK is the special guest special referee guest ref for also. that match at WrestleMania. Yes. Amazing. Teddy Long comes out. Teddy Long is in control of Raw. Just for this week. Just and for this week. And this will be on SmackDown. On SmackDown, side. yeah. Um, uh, next up is the U.S. Championship title that's on the line. Jack yes. Swagger uh, versus Santino Marella. And uh, what? Laurinaitis comes out with uh, Otonga, Otonga during yeah. this match. And Teddy Long, Oksana, and Coffee Kingston uh, come out. And also, uh, who's also there? Ziggler and uh, Vicky, Vicky Guerrero. Guerrero yeah. yeah, everyone. A lot of distractions. A lot of so distractions. Many exactly. And it's like Laurinaitis uh, wanted to uh, distract. Uh, but what was it? Um, Jack Swagger, right? No, no, no. Morella. Yeah, Morella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then also, it was like vice versa. It was, yeah, it was back and forth. It was back Chaos. and forth. Too many distractions, but but fortunately for Santino Morella, got the roll up. One, yes. two, three. Santino Morella is the new, U.S. championship. New, title. new yep. title. Wow, it switched Great. hands. I wonder Definitely. how long he'll keep it, but we'll say. But happy to Santino. Um, next up, we have The Rock. The Rock is doing history lessons, and because uh, Raw takes place in Boston, Massachusetts, Boston has yes. a lot of history, but Rock has his own history lesson, and he said that uh, one of the history lessons is about the horse and tea party, and he's outside right by the water, yep. and then has John Cena's stuff, merchandise, merchandise, and he just throws it over, uh, over the Boston balcony. Tea party. The yeah, Bo side. yeah, Boston, exactly. So it's like, oh yeah, here's this, here's he and these history the lessons go on throughout the night. Exactly. Yeah, a little boring, but <laughs> at the same time, funny. Funny. That ne one was funny, at least. Next up is a Divas match, and we have Kelly Kelly at ringside, mm -hmm. and it's Eve versus Alicia Fox, and this was a really quick match. Very quick. Like, yeah, Eve got the pin. Yeah, very. Yeah, a minute basically. Eve got the pin. One, two, three. Whoa, and. Kelly Kelly and Eve, they used to be friends, but ever since um, Eve used John Cena and... Uh, Broski. And Broski, you know, yeah, she turned dirty. Yeah. And all of a sudden, literally, dirty hoe. Dirty hoe Exactly. And, and <laughs> after the match, Zack Ryder comes out and said, you know what, I'm glad we never hooked up, Eve. It's mm -hmm. Broski's before Hoskies. And then oh. the Hosky chant, you know, broke oh. out. <laughs> exactly. So, but backstage. Oh yeah. my gosh, backstage, this is weird. Eve's um, like, I gotta tell you something. Yeah, Eve ran, something. yeah Eve ran up to... Um, to Zack Ryder and was like, I gotta tell you something. And Zack Ryder is like, what? And then Eve kisses Zack Ryder. Ooh. He had a smile. He had a smile. Oh, I think that. he's confused. He's very confused. What is she doing? She's playing no, tricks. No, she's using him. She's playing using tricks. him to get on top. Oh, no, don't fall for that, Broski. Nope. No, no. So we have a tag team match, CM Punk, Sheamus versus Daniel Bryan and Chris Jericho. Yes. Mind you, I thought this was an awesome match. This Absolutely was really, really down. good. 
hands down. And surprisingly, oh my gosh, Jericho uh, got the win. Yes, but Rolled he was up. not the legal man in the ring when he got that pin. No. But it's okay. Yeah. He still won. They didn't know. Yeah, they didn't know. Yeah. So, yeah. so but uh, what was it? Because it looked like that Jericho was going to put the walls of Jericho on CM Punk. It looks like CM Punk was going to tap out. It's like it was like a roll up back and forth. Yeah. And one, two, three, Jericho... Got got the win. Whoa. Yeah. You know, that's it. CM Punk. I'm well, looking forward to WrestleMania when these exactly. two will be facing and for who, the title. And, you know, who's the best in the world? CM Punk or Chris Jericho? See, in my opinion, I feel Chris Jericho is the king of the world because that's what he always used to say. And CM Punk is the best in the world. I got to give him that. Mm -hmm. But, okay, next up, The Miz versus Big Show. Oh, geez. The Miz versus Big Show. Miz, what are you getting yourself into? Really? He, yeah, really? 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 I know, I know you're awesome, but... Big Show, come on, oh really? man. And then Cody Rhodes comes out and like embarrasses the Big Show, bringing us back to WrestleMania 18, yes. back in, you know, WWE New York. I used mm -hmm. to love that place. Yes. I used to go there and eat. Oh, she used to eat there. Yeah, that was awesome. And Big Show, <laughs> I know. But I, I didn't think that was an embarrassment. No. I don't know, but Cody Rhodes just he talking. He like it, yeah. So, yeah. but the match started. Unfortunately for Miz, I knew it. I knew it. Miz lost. Knockout. Big punch. Show, knockout to Ooh. Mrs. Draw. Yeah. Ooh, one, two, three. Miz, bye bye. You got to think of something. Um, afterwards, we have R Truth versus Kane. Oh my gosh! Again, R Truth. What is he? What is R Truth getting himself into? Yeah, I didn't know what this match was about. But yeah, little little I Jimmy versus R Truth. For yeah, I know. I got mad. Um, yeah, I got. I felt bad for R Truth. And what? Uh, what was it? Uh, big choke slam. Yes. Choke slam to R Truth. One, two, three. Oh, jeez. Yeah. And then uh, Randy Orton comes out. Randy Orton comes from, uh, yeah, Randy Orton He's got a comes out and, Kane. yeah, confronts Kane. And uh, he grabs uh, Kane's leg. Uh, what was it? No, R no, Truth. Truth yeah, yeah R Truth uh, grabs Kane's RKO. leg. And then RKO. It was like, Kane, yeah. yeah, it was like, what was it? R Truth was holding Kane down for yeah. uh, Randy Orton to do the RKO. Yep. And then next up we have, oh, uh, John Cena. Yes, and The Rock. And The out. Rock, and they're out uh, in the ring. Basically, like, he had enough with history lessons. <laughs> yeah, and uh, basically, Cena says that I don't need, uh, I don't need to do pre-taped segments yeah. like how you did. Please, I'm better than that. And uh, The Rock said that uh, he sees fear. The Rock says he sees fear in Cena's eyes yeah. come uh uh, come WrestleMania, uh, and he can hear his doubt. Sees Ooh. fear and hears doubt. And The Rock says he's never, ever been more confident about anything in his life, mm -hmm. that he has this win down in the bag. And John Cena says that he will make history by beating The Rock, like, um, especially, like, when he was saying his little bit, um, you know, in an empty arena, remember that? You know, uh, Cena says that he has to win because no one will look at this as second place. No. He, has he has to win. This will be history in WWE. He just has to win. Yeah. The Rock That's walks it. off and Cena's the last man standing there. We'll draw. see. We gotta see what happens come WrestleMania. This is building up, so we'll see. Can and we just make a prediction right now? What do you think is gonna happen? Uh, I have a feeling Cena will win. Really? Cause I want Cena to win, but I have a feeling The Rock's going to win. Really? Okay. I don't know, because, you I know... I really hope not. I want Cena to win. <laughs> yeah, I know. We got to make I mean, I prediction. love The Rock, too, but... Yeah. I guess we'll make another video about that. Yes, we'll we will. We'll go more in depth, so Definitely. stay tuned for that. Again, stay guys, that, shout out to yes. RedFever.com. Yeah. Check them out. Roy, Corey, and Big Ange. Love you guys. Thank you shout so much. Shout out to them, and okay. shout out to you guys. Thanks for watching. Mwah.